My bathroom is a pretty famous place on YouTube, if I may say so myself, but for good reason. There's a lot to talk about when it comes to cleaning the bathroom. And of course, we've gotta use the bathroom, so there's that. Anyway, the reason I'm in front of the bathroom today is because a lot of you guys have been asking about what you can do to maintain your bathroom on a regular basis. In other words, what kind of habits can you employ to keep a cleaner bathroom? So this week, I'm gonna show you some pretty simple habits that you can start using to keep your bathroom clean on the regular. Let's get to it. If you're new to Clean My Space, remember to click this button over here to subscribe to our channel. And of course, if you like seeing habit videos or you like the bathroom, give us a thumbs up. A clean sink in a bathroom is kind of like a made bed in a bedroom. If you see it, the rest of the room looks really clean. So having a clean sink in the bathroom is a good habit to get into. And all that means is a simple rinse and wipe of the sink whenever you're done using it. Say for example, after you brush your teeth, you might get a glob of toothpaste in the sink. If you don't get rid of that right away, it's going to harden onto the side of the sink and just sit there and look gross and probably attract stray hairs and then look even more gross. So take a piece of tissue, give it a quick wipe, toss that, and your sink is gonna look really good. Also, if you do mud masks or facials or anything like that, it's also important to give your sink a quick wipe down before you move on with your day because if you don't, your sink's gonna start to accumulate more discoloration and dirt as you go throughout the week. If your counter in your bathroom is kind of exploding with stuff, you're probably dealing with a case of counter sprawl, which is very easy to counter, see what I did there, by a simple maxim of cleaning. And that is have a place for each item. And an easy way to do this is to have a tray or a bin. You can get some really nice ones. I happen to pick up an antique one, which looks a little bit classier, if I may say so myself. And it makes putting items back in my bathroom a lot easier. So I wash my face, put the face wash back on the tray, the toothpaste, the floss, whatever, it all goes back on that tray. And it has kept my counter so much more clean and organized. I highly recommend this. A squeegee costs less than 10 bucks. Sometimes it's even a dollar if you can find it at the dollar store. But this little tool and the habit of using the squeegee on your shower after each shower means you basically don't ever have to scrub your shower again. Let me explain why this works. Your body lets off dead skin cells, oils, you use soap that has, you know, soapy film, then you got hard water, and then this melange of liquid gets all over the tiles and the glass of your shower. Now, you go out, you go on your way, but that water then evaporates, leaving behind all the residue from that schmutz we just talked about, and that, my friends, is soap scum. So guess what? If you squeegee your shower, you see, I'm squeegeeing my shower here, all that does is remove the moisture from the surface and all of the stuff that goes along with it. So that way you actually never get soap scum and you'll never have to scrub your shower. Pretty good habit, huh? Next up is the habit of cleaning as you go. And this is a very good habit to have anywhere in the house, but especially in the bathroom. And here's why. We're in the bathroom, we're using it, we're brushing our teeth, we're doing our hair, we're flossing, makeup, plucking, like all kinds of stuff goes on in the bathroom and stuff flutters everywhere. And if you don't clean up the mess as you go, the mess starts to accumulate and your bathroom can look straight up disgusting. So it's really important that every time you make a little mess, you clean it up. And all you need to do is use a dampened tissue or a, a disposable wipe, which I'm not a huge fan of, but if that's gonna get you to do it, fine. Or you can use a microfiber cloth. Obviously, I have a maker's microfiber cloth in my bathroom, but it's a great habit to get into and it keeps your bathroom maintained until you have time to do more cleaning. And finally, make it a habit to dedicate 10 minutes a week to cleaning your bathroom. Now, if you get going and your mojo's flying off the charts and you wanna spend more than 10 minutes cleaning the bathroom, cool, I'm not gonna stop you. Frankly, get to it. But if you can only give 10 minutes, that in and of itself is more than enough. We have a lot of videos on different ways and things you can do to clean your bathroom, different little routines that you can sort of compact into those 10 minutes. But as long as you're doing something, the most necessary thing in your bathroom, and you all know what it is by looking at it, 
your bathroom is going to look and feel a lot better. I know it can feel overwhelming to think about cleaning an entire space all at once, but if you start with some simple habits and build on that, you're gonna find cleaning on the regular much easier. So I hope this video really helps you when it comes to maintaining your bathroom. Now, on to this week's comment question. I am dying to know, how often do you actually clean your bathroom? This is kind of a clean my space confession time. Let me know in the comments down below. If you wanna see what I'm up to during the rest of the week, aside from spending time messing up the bathroom, which by the way, before I film a video, I usually spend about an hour messing it up in there. You can find me on Instagram and Snapchat. I am at Melissa Maker, the only guy who I'll ever let into my bathroom. He is at the Chad Reynolds and we are at Clean My Space. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Well, it's that special time of the week where I get to throw you to a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And since we're on everybody's favorite topic, the bathroom, I thought I would show you a couple of other oldie but goodie videos that we have here at Clean My Space. We went deep into the Clean My Space archives to pull out two very critical bathroom cleaning videos for you. The first one over here is the toilet cleaning video, how to clean a toilet in three minutes. And then the next one over there is just a bathroom cleaning routine. It basically teaches you how to clean your entire bathroom. So check that one out too. If you haven't done so already, make sure you visit our website. It's cleanmyspace.com. We've got all kinds of cleaning information on there as well as a sign up thingy for our newsletter, which is called The Dirty Dish. It comes once a month and it is chock full of cleaning information, tips, tricks, recipes, and other interesting stuff that we do not share anywhere else. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next time.